Hi, Peter Robertson, William Porteous Properties with another Market Minute as we come into the end of another very, very busy week in the Perth market. So let's jump straight into it. In the last, in recent videos, we've been talking about an increasing trend of positivity. So buyer activity, buyer positivity, uh, that we're seeing in the coalface uh, of the market. Look, that trend has absolutely been strengthening over the last week. Um, we've got, I would say, our buyer inquiry is almost up like 50%. Um, that level, that quantum of, uh, of a jump. So the, again, as per uh, normal market conditions, shall we say, the, the entry level properties into any given suburb are probably those, probably those that are most heavily uh, inquired upon. So the closer you are to block value for any given suburb, uh, exponentially the, the greater the level of interest. But what I'd say to layer on top of that is in the 6009 postcode and certainly the Delkeith area where we do the vast bulk of our work, um, we've also had buyers coming in looking for the better houses and the premium homes and grumbling a little bit that there's relatively little to choose from. Um, now look, that's really interesting to hear that um, and it ties in well with the other statistics. So just looking at the REWA stats for a second here. Where did I put them? Here we go. Um, this is across the metro area, so I'm talking about how this relates back to uh, the western suburbs. But across the metro area, there's currently property sales in the last week were 590 sales. Uh, four weeks ago, there was 413 sales, so there's been more sales in the last month than in the previous month. And, and the same week last year, there was 475. So from 475 a year ago, 413 a month ago, and 590 in the last week. That's interesting. Properties for sale. Um, there's a total of 11,567 properties for sale across the metro area. This is REWA stats. Uh, of that, there's 6,358 3, 6, houses, 2,608 units, and 2,601 blocks of land. The same time last year, there was 16,565 properties for sale. So it's gone from uh, 16,565 a year ago in 2019, I had to think for a second what year are we in, uh, 2019, uh, to 11,500 in 2020. Um, so a lot less for sale. Uh, the number of sales has gone up. Um, so we've got two things happening. We've got a constricted supply uh, on one hand, we've got buyer activity increasing on the other and buyers very clearly taking positions and moving on, on properties and trying to buy them. Really interesting market dynamics at the moment uh, for both buyers and sellers. So uh, as a buyer, you're probably complaining that there's not as much to choose from as you'd like. And as a seller, you're currently in a marketplace where there's not a lot of competition. Um, and we are seeing that same statistical trend um, express itself in the western suburbs. So what else has happened this this week? All right, we've written offers on properties in Dalkeith, been negotiating on that front. Um, we've had, we've launched a fantastic uh, set of apartments in Mount Street in West Perth. That's the Camilla Residences. They are stunning. That's an example of some of the very best architecture and level of finish in the apartment space that you'll see in, in Perth or Western Australia. Um, we've had a fantastic penthouse apartment in East Perth, had a, had a reasonably substantial price reduction to align itself better with the, the marketplace and improvement there on price. Um, and it's also at the same time launched onto realestate.com, so it's a fantastic offering in East Perth. Um, we're running a, a, an open negotiation process which has been vigorously um, or has produced a vigorous amount of interest from buyers in the marketplace here in Delkeith. That's number two Allenby Road. We were there last night, lots of people through. I've been back there two or three times today already. Uh, and that's really interesting for us. This is our, for me personally, it's my first open negotiation process to run. And it's a, it's interesting to see how that is playing out and how the market's responding. But it's, 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 it's positive, it's vigorous, it's interesting. Um, so that will play itself out. Um, what else has happened? The whole team has generally been finding it to be a lot busier and a lot more positivity from buyers. So I think we, we, it will be interesting to look back on the statistics for this month or this quarter um, as they start to play out. So the deals we're doing today, average settlement period is probably plus or minus 45 days. So it takes a while for the activity that we're seeing today to reflect in the statistics, but uh, it will all be coming out, I'm sure. 
So that's it, a relatively short market minute from me uh, compared to some of the long ones I've done. Positivity on the increase, still restricted supply. Everyone wants to know what, what values are doing as well. I would say that in our area, in the western suburbs and particularly in 6009 postcode, the values are holding um, and that's usually the case. If there's a limited supply and buyers are en masse coming in and trying to take positions, that kind of activity tends to underpin the values in the market. So um, without doubt, buyers are still looking for, for good and fair value propositions, but you know there's, there's the activity there to support those values. Great to see. All right, any questions, of course, send us a message. Thanks for listening to another Market Minute from us and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.